All right, guys. Um, I'm out here at my deer lease, uh, just checking a couple trail cameras and stuff, and I've kind of had an idea to start doing like a, a series of videos called Trail Camera Tuesdays. Um, <clears throat> it won't be every Tuesday, maybe one or two Tuesdays a month. I'm going to try to post a trail camera related YouTube video. That could be anything from a product review, unboxing, or just tips and tricks, things of that sort. Um, hopefully it's something that some of y'all will, will find interesting. I've, I've been running a lot of trail cameras for a lot of years. So I've picked up a few things over that time. But anyway, um, that brings us to today's video. Fixing to pick up this Lone Wolf Custom Gear Undercover Trail Camera. Check some of the uh, pictures and videos I've received on it, and thought I'd just kind of give you all some of my thoughts and impressions on this camera. Um, it's, it's a good camera, um, but I don't think it's worth what they ask for it without a, uh, a discount code. Um, right now, you can actually get the cameras for $100 with a discount code on their website versus a regular 200. So anyway, um, I'm going to take and show y'all some of the specs on their website. Uh, and then we'll actually look at the app that comes with this camera, which is pretty neat. There's some pretty positive things with the app for your cell phone and also a couple negatives. So let's take a look at some specs and then, um, we'll look at the app. And then in this video, I will show you um, uh, some footage from the camera itself. All right. Okay, so here we have the Lone Wolf Undercover Trail Camera on the Lone Wolf Custom Gear website. It retails for $199.99. However, if you go to their homepage at the time of this video, and you scroll up, let me let it load here. The very top, there's a code um, to get this camera for $99. So back to some of the specs on the camera. If you scroll down here, this camera, reading from their specifications, um, it comes with the all-new Lone Wolf Undercover app. This app has been pretty good for the most part, in my opinion. It's a free app that you can download for your, your Apple or Android phone. Um, another big benefit for this camera, which I'll show you here in a little bit, is the way it straps to the tree and the many different ways you can mount it onto the trees. That's a big plus, in my opinion, for this camera. Um, some of the specifications, uh, the AIM, Ultimate AIM technology, that allows you to get a live view from the camera on the, the app, which is very neat. Um, the concealment scan that's, you know, take it or leave it, it comes with it. So I would advise putting it on a uh, um, triple lock protection system. This camera does not have a lock uh, on the, the, the top, like the lid, which I wish it did. You can retrieve photos from this camera using Wi-Fi um, through the app. Uh, it's pretty neat idea if you get out to the woods and you check your camera and you forgot to bring an SD card reader but in my ex experience it is slow um, in my opinion it should only be used for like a last resort I'd prefer just to pull the card out stick it in the SD card reader and view them on my computer that's a 12 megapixel camera and it records video in 1080p 30 frames per second with video which is uh, um, a big plus a lot of cameras do not uh, with sound a lot of cameras on video mode do not have sound um some of the modes include video photo time lapse and you can also do um like video plus photo which is what i typically do that way you, you have the video to look at to get some more detail but if you're just looking through it quickly you can just look at your photos um so that's pretty much it for the specs. Now let's take a look at uh, 
at the app. Okay, guys. So here we are on the Lone Wolf, Co Lone Wolf Custom Gear Undercover Trail Camera app. Um, and on this home screen, you can tell I've already connected to the Wi-Fi on my camera. Uh, the one camera I have there, I've named it LWCG1. And it's highlighted a red to green check, which means we are connected to that camera. Once you open the app, it's pretty easy to connect uh, via your phone's Wi-Fi, and it prompts you to do so. I'm not going to go through that because everyone might have a slightly different phone, so the procedure might be slightly different. So once we get to here, we can click on our camera. And the first thing that comes up is a live feed um, off the camera. This is really, really neat. Let me step out of the frame here. Um, so this allows you to get a live view of what the camera is seeing. Uh, so I can move it around a little bit, twist it, move it. This is really cool. So the with this, the days of holding your cell camera up to the game cam, and trying to guess an approximate field of view are gone. You can see exactly what the camera is going to see. Also on the screen, you can see the battery life. See, I've got 50% left. Um, and then the bottom right, a little wheel looking icon. If you click on that, those are your settings. This is where you can really fine tune the settings on this camera, which makes it so much more user friendly than having to click through a bunch of different screens and push a bunch of buttons over and over again. You can see I've got it set to photo plus video, which is the option that I prefer. The image size has 12 megapixels, megapixels with a multi shot of two images per um, activation, view of size in AP, and 15 second video length. If you scroll down, you can see some of these um, settings that you can change, really dial this thing in. This, this camera has so many settings, um, which is really neat to help you fine tune your settings. So back on the home screen, this is where I was talking about earlier. You can actually access your photos on the camera um, without removing the SD card via the built-in Wi-Fi. As you can see here, it's taking forever to load the images. This is the big drawback with this, in my opinion. Um, it's easier for me just to, to grab the SD card and then um, pop it in my, my SD card reader and check it and uh, and put a new SD card in the camera and, and move on. This this would be great if you forgot your SD card reader. You just wanted to check um, what was on the camera. But as you can see, it's taken forever to load these images. Um, the bottom, you can see you can toggle between photos and videos. So that's pretty neat. Um, it also shows some a pretty neat little graph at the top here. It shows prime time. So I'm assuming that's the times that you've got the most photos off of your camera but anyway so this is really taking a long time love these images so i'm going to move on um, to uh, look at the camera a little more okay guys we're back um looking at this camera i just want to kind of point out a couple things before we move on to looking at some of the photos and images off of the camera this bracket back here is the one I was talking about that really makes this thing so versatile when it comes to attaching to trees. You can put this thing, you can twist this camera any way, shape, or form. Um, it's got up and down angling technology, which is great. You can turn it, twist it. The days of having to put a stick behind cameras, try to angle them with this, they're days of the past. Um, this bracket is, is awesome. I've even put this thing on like fallen trees and in treetops and all sorts of places that you just would have a very hard time attaching a typical camera. It's also, I'm going to pull it off the tree here, got these little tabs that just kind of like snap in and out. Um, they work, they're pretty neat some of the times, but they also get kind of annoying because the strap will completely come off the camera. But I see what they're going for is just kind of a, a quick way to get the strap on and off the camera. Um, it's pretty neat. I'm going to open the top. We'll go over some of the things in here. Um, so if you purchase this camera, one thing I want to point out is there are two SD card slots. This first SD card slot is the one that you want to use for taking pictures. This back SD card slot 
is nothing more than a holder for a spare SD card. I don't know why someone would want to leave a spare SD card in a camera, but maybe you want to. So you don't remember to bring one out when you come check it. But anyway, that's just something to be aware of. You can adjust the mode from, um, from here just by clicking this button. And this one to the right is your on and off switch. You go ahead and power it off. Really, if you want to adjust settings, the only um, real effective way to do it is on the app. So let's just take and pull this tray out. The tray goes in from the top, which I really like. Um, I really dislike the the ones that come in from the bottom because you're trying to change batteries once on the tree. It tends to fall and you drop it. And if you got this thing, you know, 10 foot up in the air, it really creates a hassle. So I really like the way this is just in the top and just slides in really smooth. Um, it's made very well. Uh, the top is, is pretty neat the way it just snaps in. I really do wish there was a way to lock it to prevent somebody from taking an SD card. It uh, looks like, I was trying to look back here. There's a little, you know what guys? I think I misspoke. I just realized something that I have never realized before. You can actually put a lock through this hole right here. Uh, my mind is blown. Now, it's a pretty cheesy little thing, um, but it would prevent somebody from opening this top. So if you have like a little small padlock or something, you can stick that on there. Wow, I'm, I've never noticed that before. It's like there's also a, another small little hole here for a little padlock and a cable. You want to lock it to a tree. So there you go. You, you are able to lock this camera to a tree, which I'll probably start doing from now on. So anyway, guys, that's a look at the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Undercover Camera. Um, I've been pretty pleased with it. Uh, I don't know if it's worth $200, but I do think it's worth $100 if you can get that discount code. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at some videos and uh, some images off the camera so you can get an idea for the quality of uh, the camera itself. Thanks for watching.